You have to rescreen us, sir, as per Directive 699. Well, that's good. <laughs> Is something amiss? Amiss? God, no. What could possibly be amiss? You don't think there's anything amiss? I'm sitting here wearing a red and white checked gingham dress and army boots. You think that's unamiss? No, of course not. It's just we thought you'd gone nuts. We were trying to heal you. I was just doing a little test. A little test to see if you'd gone crazy. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's crazy people. Well, we've passed the test, Rimmer. You can let us out. I can't let you out. Why not? Because the king of the potato people won't let me. <laughs> I've begged him. I've got down on my knees and wept. He wants to keep you here. Keep you here for ten years. Could we see him? See who? The king. Do you have a magic carpet? Yeah. A little three-seater. So let me get this straight. You want to fly on a magic carpet to see the king of the potato people. <laughs> and plead with him for your freedom. And you're telling me you're completely sane? <laughs> She's not going to take anyone's airtime. I read somewhere that their periods attract bears. The bears can smell the menstruation. Well, that's just great. You hear that, Ed? Bears. Now you're putting the whole station in jeopardy. I'm cute. Yes, it's true. I really can't help it, but what can I do when you're cute? It just shows. With these two darling eyes and this cute little nose. Be more discreet about those declarations, sir. Some would call them treason. I say it because it's true. And when I'm sure, there will be changes. That day, all female officers will be required to wear tiny miniskirts! I'm gonna tell you two a secret, but you have to promise not to tell anyone. I promise. <laughs> I've got balls of steel. <gasps> Go laser eyes. <laughs> Dr. Octopus does not have laser <laughs> Peter, there's something off about that horse. You have an eye for animals, Lois. This horse is brain damaged. That's why I got it so cheap. Peter, I don't think it's wise to have a brain damaged horse as a house pet. Shut up. You don't know nothing. But anything. How you doing? Get out! Are you gay? I should very well say so, old fruit. <laughs> splish, splash, I was taking a bell. <laughs> You're gonna die, clown! <laughs> you think that's funny? I don't hear you laughing now! I, I like it. Me too, me too, me too, me too, me All right, since you really want to know... <gasps> I've got some wild oats to sow. Why are all the gorgeous ones homicidal maniac? No way. We landed on the moon! I, I, I had no idea you could milk a cat. Oh, yeah, you can milk anything with nipples. I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? Because the spirits of the elements of harmony are right here! 
Applejack, who reassured me when I was in doubt, represents the spirit of honesty. Fluttershy, who tamed the Manticore with her compassion, represents the spirit of kindness. Pinkie Pie, who banished fear by giggling in the face of danger, represents the spirit of laughter. Rarity, who calmed a sorrowful serpent with a meaningful gift, represents the spirit of generosity. And Rainbow Dash, who could not abandon her friends for her own heart's desire, represents the spirit of loyalty. The spirit I'm exhausted. Yeah, me too, but you know, I'm really wired. What do you say I take you home and eat your pussy? Shake your ass, watch yourself. Shake your ass, some of us are Shake your ass. And that technically counted as a question, so only two more left. Is it? It's Pikachu! No. <laughs> it's that. God damn it! But you'll definitely turn green. Let's find a rock. I mean a big ass rock. Or maybe something like a cinder block is better. I'll hoist it up and drop it on your face, my buddy. And that is the shittest, crappiest, crappiest, this kick ass I've ever seen. Yeah, I, yeah, that is pretty crap. I, kick, as kicking ass goes, it was abysmal, and you is a sh bastard, stupid bastard. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he sure is. So, what are you gonna do now? Kill yourself? Because that's what I recommend.